Hello, and welcome to part 8 on a YouTube series I'm doing on obtaining your ham radio license, which I have already done, and I've been contacted by a couple other people, and they also got their license. Uh, congratulations to you. I'm real happy for you. Every Friday, the Faulkner County Amateur Radio Club uh, that I'm now a member of uh, meets at Smitty's Barbecue. Uh, you saw Smitty's Barbecue early in the series. That's where I took my ham license uh, exam. Uh, they meet there every Friday and uh, for lunch. Well, this past Friday when I got there for lunch, uh, a member from uh, an, uh, a club in the next county was there. He was in town, had some business here, and he said, you know, I think I'll just stop in and have lunch with the Faulkner County gang. And uh, I'm glad he did. His name was Jim, and uh, he's an older fella, and we struck up a conversation, and I told him about the series I'm doing, and he had, uh, explained something that was going on in the next county uh, on Saturday morning. He invited me up to see what was going on, and I told him I was very much interested, and here's what happened. Well, here we are, folks, at the Marlton Fire Department, and it's about, uh, oh, I guess I got about 22 after 8 in the morning. And we're right next to the old Bonanza Steakhouse, so in case I get hungry. <laughs> well, let's go inside and find out uh, what old Jim uh, has in store for us. Let's see here. Now, this is Jim, right? Yes. It was Jim. Oh, Good morning. Uh, what? What? <laughs> uh, I, listen, I, I'm just making the coffee, so just... Just wait a minute. Okay, we'll all have coffee together. <laughs> uh, now, we also have another individual here whose name is Stuart. And, uh, we... I'm KD5LBE. KD5, let me LBE. see. You've got, you've got a little name tag there. When we so go into ham forget. radio, then we, we're known by our call sign. Well, this gentleman here is a politician. You are. We are honored. You are the mayor of former, this town. Former, former mayor. mayor. And okay. mayor to be. And what does mayor to be mean? Mayor means I got elected and the other guy didn't. This, in this last election? This last election. And when do you get sworn in? I get sworn in on January 1, 2011. Okay, here we got Jim again. He's, he's having his cup of coffee. He calls it jungle rot, which is the best kind. Jim, why did you invite me up here today? Why am I here? Well, uh, you had indicated you wanted to video uh, our uh, technician class that starts today and will end next Saturday. Uh, and I thought it was a great idea. Now, what do you mean by technician class? Now, back in April, I got my general class mm -hmm. uh, ham license, and I studied for two and a half, about almost two and a half months to yeah. get that thing. Yeah. I mean, I hit the books every day, uh, every spare moment I had. I, I, I bought the books, I studied them, I went on the internet and everything. So you're saying there's another way I could have done this? Well, for your, for your tech class, what we do here, and it, this is our third class, and it has worked well. We have today, which will be the first day, we have all classroom and maybe a little bit of hands-on. Stuart has brought some equipment in. Uh, and this will run six, eight hours, whatever. So, so, so you're offering, you and Stuart over here, you're here to teach a uh, ham radio licensing class. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Well, and are you associated with any club at all? The... Uh, what's the, I know you are, but what's the name of the club? It, it's the Arkansas Diamond Amateur Radio Club. Arkansas Diamond Amateur Radio yeah. Club, and that's based here. out of Morrillton? Here or in Morrillton. In the town of Morrillton in Conway yeah. County. Yeah. Okay, now. And, and, you, and he's the president. Oh, he's the president. Uh, yeah. Stewart is the president of the club, and he's also the mayor of the town. My goodness, he's just... And over here, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I, I want everybody to meet the... You're, you're the county coroner, the county right? Corner, he's yes. the one that teaches the... Or deals with the dead folks. <laughs> <laughs> And what is your name again? Richard Neal. Richard Neal, the county court. Is that an elected position? Yes, it is. It is. How Every about that? Every two years. Every two years. All uh, right. Okay. The class you're offering now is for the technician, technician license. license. Yeah. Uh, now, what happens if they pass the technician license after attending this class? Do you have the capability of giving them the general class license? We can give them the general At, test. And the extra. And the extra. All at now, the same time. But it's we, geared toward the technician class. Technician. Okay. Uh, the last two classes that we've done, uh, everybody has passed. We uh, great. We have, uh, but the first Saturday, like today, will be uh, all classroom hands on. Stuart and I will do that. Next Saturday morning, which I think is the twenty eighth, uh, that morning will be uh, kind of questions and answers areas where you're having trouble understanding something or you need a little help with. 
Yes. We will do that, and then that afternoon we will do the, the VEs will be here to do the test. There is no cost for the class. They it's only, free. It's free. And we provide all the uh, all the study material. I print them off here at the office. Yes. And uh, uh, the, only, the only cost is the licensing fee. Somebody needs to come up, needs to do something. I'm going to pick on her over here. I don't have anything against him. I'm going to pick him. He can't sell his services uh, for communications. Everything you do has to be for free. And that's where some of the issues have come in before. Can a hospital employee get on? Well, there you are. If you have trouble studying by yourself, uh, or you find that you need a lot of help with some of the technical things, and it's actually preventing you from uh, maybe testing for your ham license, you really want a ham license, find a local club, uh, ask them if they offer classes, or if they know of a club nearby that does. Well, on the way back uh, from uh, Moralton, uh, I saw something along the highway about a mile from my house. And I could not help myself. I had to stop and check it out. What we have here is a car show. Let's go take a look at a couple of them. Here's a cool one. I don't know what it is. Wow, check that out. It's a 1939 Chevy. Here's a 1946 Ford Coupe. Here's a highly modified 1929 Model A Ford. That's pretty slick. Chopped. Chopped means it's a yeah, roof's been yeah, lowered. Yeah, roof's chopped, that's why the windshield's so Yep. And look at that engine. Holy mackerel there. There's another one with a blower on it. I don't know what this one is. This is a 1929 delivery truck Ford sedan. Highly modified again. Whoa, look at the engine and that thing. <laughs> now here's a nifty looking one. I love this color. That's a cool looking car. I don't know what this is either. <laughs> it's well, it a, looks uh, like it looks like it's a Ford of some kind, but I don't know what year. That's a cool what year is this thing? 31. 1931 Ford. Wow, that's a nice color. I like that color. Is this yours? Yeah. This is the owner here. I'm going to put you on YouTube, young man, with your car. What do you think of that? This is a nice looking car. How long did it take you to do this? I bought it 41 years. You bought, you've had this car for 41 years? Yeah. Holy mackerel. Well, congratulations. It looks really nice. I like it. Uh, by the way, I spoke to him and he said that this, this is a fiberglass front that he designed himself and had made by a company in uh, Florida. Now, this is more my style, my speed. You know, I'm an old radio repair type. And look at this. This would be to get just chug along here. This is a 1924 Ford Model T. Here's another highly modified 1923 Ford T-Bucket. This is a slick looking machine. Look at it, baby. Whoa. Got a lot of Fords here. 1944 Deluxe Five Window Coupe. Look at this thing. Wow. Man, that's a fabulous paint job on this car. Just the people got some heavy money invested in these things. A little more than I'd ever want to. That'd be uncomfortable to sit in the back, that's for sure. Yeah, they weren't designed for all that much comfort years ago. Now, what would a car show be without a 55 Chevy? Got to have a 55 Chevy. Bel Air? Yep. See, that's it's nice. a two-door sedan. Look at that interior. Yeah, it looks really nice. They have the red. Oh, my God, I like And, of course, the 1957 Chevy two-door hardtop, the Bel Air. Ooh. Nice looking car. Ooh. Okay, 1964 Chevy Impala. Nice looking car. Now belongs to the son of the original owner. His dad bought this thing. Nice looking car. Almost original in all respects. Nice looking car. Beautiful interior. Great stuff. Want to be on YouTube? Huh? What's your first name? Mel. Mel. Yes, sir. Now this belonged to your dad, right? Yes, you does. said he bought. Now, did you uh, change the interior on this at all, or is this still original? It's all original, but it's been redone. Redone. That's great. New seats. Looks really nice. Look at the size of this trunk. Man, I could hold a picnic in there. 